In this video, we'll talk about the net force. So what is a net force? A net force is a combination of all the forces that are exerting on a object. All right. So in this video, we are going to do some practical problems. This is the first question. In a tug of war, a man pulls with a force of 100 newtons on a side and another man pulls with 90 newtons on the other side. Determine the net force. So here we have two uh, gentlemen and this person is pulling that rope with a force of about 100 newton. And on the other side, we have this other person who is uh, pulling the rope towards him with a force of 90 newtons. All right. Now the question is, what is the net force? Yeah. Uh, so how we're going to calculate this is that we have to find out a few things. Now, first of all, we have to write down this way. The first force was about 100 Newton. The second force, that's about 90 Newton, right? So this man is uh, pulling the rope towards him at 100 Newtons. And this man is pulling the rope towards him with a force of 90 Newton. But since he's doing from the opposite side, so his uh, uh, symbol would be a negative. Okay, so he would, uh, that would be a negative sign because he is pulling it uh, the opposite direction. All right, so I hope you understood that. So this person is pulling the rope towards him at about 100 Newtons. And this person is pulling the rope opposite to him. And that's why we have put the negative symbol here next to the numerical value, which is about 90 Newtons. Now they're asking what, how to uh, determine the net force. The net force, so the force, and you can just write net, so that net force would be equal to force number one plus force number two. All right. So that would be a combination of all the forces. So net force is usually the combination of all the forces acting on a particular object. So here over here, we have force one that would be, you can just write 100 Newton over here. And force two is this person, but then we have a negative value here. So as we know, minus and plus gives you a minus. So you just mention a minus there and write 90 Newton. And the net force would be 10 Newton. This is your answer to the first question. So I'm just writing it over here. The net force is about 10 Newton. Okay, this is your net force. Now, um, you must also remember one thing. A force will have a magnitude, which we just got. Magnitude is just the number. And in this case, the number is 10 Newton. And force also has a direction. Okay, it has a direction. So uh, if you just look at this figure, this person has got a bigger value. He has got 100 Newton and this one has got 90 Newton. So obviously this person will be pulling on that rope towards him uh, because he, uh, he has a bigger number. He, has, he is exerting a greater force. So this rope is definitely going to get pulled towards him which is towards the right. So you would say that the net force is 10 newtons towards the right. Towards the right. Now we have another problem here. So uh, this, is, this is how it goes. A toy car is at rest and a force of 70 newton is applied to it. So, so we have just applied a force of 70 Newton to this car, which is at rest. So now when you apply a force of 70 Newton, the car is going to move forward. But there is another force at play, which is called frictional force. So if you can read this, if the frictional force of 20 Newton determine the net force. So this frictional force would be the one opposite to the 
uh, direction of motion. So if the car is going this way, the frictional force will act the opposite way. So that's why I have I have put an arrow which is towards the left. So this is frictional force, which would be at around 20 Newton. Uh, now the question is determine the net force. So we have two, two forces here, applied forces and frictional forces. So how would we go around doing this? So here we have, a, we just write a force right there. Okay, and put a A over here. Uh, applied forces, okay, so uh, which was about uh, 70 Newton right there, this one, okay, that's about 70 Newton. And then we have frictional force coming from the opposite direction, which is giving us uh, an amount of 20 Newtons. So frictional, I'll put a baby F, the small f over here, that's frictional force, which is about 20 Newton. But since it's working the opposite direction, we are going to have a negative sign. Okay, so a negative sign there. So let me just put a negative sign over here. Now determine the net force. So put the F there and write net. So we are trying to find out the net force. As you know, the net force is a combination of both these forces, right? So uh, that would be the applied forces plus the frictional force. So if you plug in the numbers, you get 70. Now here's a negative sign. So minus and plus gives you a minus. And then frictional force is 20 newtons. Okay, so I'll just put an N over there. So that would give you 50 newton. This would be your net force, 50 newtons. That's your net force. Now, uh, this, is, this car is going towards the right. So you can just mention the direction. You can just say direction, basically towards the towards the right. Moving on to the third problem. Here it says consider one block resting on the floor. So I didn't draw the ground. So let me just draw the ground over here. This is the ground. Okay. Um, if this block is balanced by 6 Newton of normal force and 6 Newton of gravity force, then what is the value of net force acting on this block? So normal force, there's a word over here, normal force. What is a normal force? So normal force is the force that any surface exerts on any other object. Okay, so in this case, it's, it's the ground. So you keep a block or you keep any object on the ground and uh, the ground will be exerting a force on that object. And in this case, the ground is exerting a force on this block. Uh, and we have a value for that. The normal force is, uh, well, over here is given as 6 Newton. So the normal force would be this arrow. This is your normal force over here. And that's at 6 Newton. Okay, so this is the normal force. Where, just remember that when one object is touching another object, just like how this block is sitting on the ground, then the ground would be exerting uh, a force on that object. And in this case, it's the block. So the ground is exerting a force, which is called normal force. Uh, uh, and the number is 6 Newton. So it's exerting 6 Newton normal force on the on the block. And at the same time, we have the gravitational force, we have the G force. So this is gravity. And it's always downwards, we know that. And since it's opposite to that, we get a negative value. And the negative value is uh, minus six Newton, it's given right here. Okay. It says here, if this block is balanced by 6 Newton of normal force and 6 Newton of gravity force, so both of them would be 6 and a 6, but only thing you have to change the symbol for this one because it, you know, just like how we did for the friction, you have to give, uh, an, um, you have to give a negative value to this one because it's uh, exerting from the opposite direction. All right, so in this case, gravity, 
uh, the force is downwards, it is opposite to the normal force. So in that case, you give a negative value. Now the question is, what is the net force? That's the question. So how are we going to put this across? Uh, we have two forces here. We have the force of gravity and we also have the normal force. So force and an n, little n, which is called normal force, that's about 6n. And we have the force of gravity, which is negative 6n. And now we need to find out the net force. Net force is equal to the combination of both these forces. So let's just write that down. Normal force plus gravitational force, OK? Now plugging, we can just write this down. Normal force is 6 Newton. And gravity is, again, 6, but with a negative sign. So a negative and a positive gives you a negative. And then just write a 6 over here. 6 minus 6 is 0 Newton. OK, that's not on. <laughs> that's a 0, and that's n. So 0 and n. Maybe I can put it this way, OK? So this is your net force. But since we got a 0, we also call this a balanced force. Okay, it's called a balanced force. All the other forces that we discussed previously, just uh, a few seconds ago, uh, they were all unbalanced because we had we got we got a value for the net force. Now, in this case, in this particular question, the value is zero, and that's why it is a balanced force. Okay, so uh, just keep that in mind. Now, coming to the next problem. One book is lying on the desk. When a 15 Newton of force is applied on this book, a friction force of 5 Newton acts on it on the opposite side, opposite direction. If this book is balanced by 20 Newton of normal force and gravity force, then calculate the value of net force acting on it. So if you can, you can just see that we have a whole lot of forces here. Okay, so uh, there is this bigger force, which is, uh, you know, it's not really a big force, but, but if you were to compare this force to the one over here, the arrow over here, that would be friction, okay? And we know that uh, this is the opposite weight. Friction force acts on the opposite direction, all right? So here you have to put a negative symbol, and we know that the friction force is at 5 Newton, okay? All right, and uh, 15 Newton of force is applied. So over here, 15 Newton of force is applied. Okay, just plugging the numbers. And if this book is balanced by 20 Newton of normal force, so here we know that this would be your 20 Newton of normal force. That's the table exerting 20 Newton force on that book. And we have gravity. We have gravity, which is also exerting a downward force. Again, a negative symbol of the same value, 20 Newton. Okay, As you can see, this 20 Newton and a negative 20 Newton should cancel out. So if you want, you can just cancel it out like that. Okay, And you can just concentrate on these values. Or if you want, you can write down the whole thing which we will do in the next slide. So here we are. This is how we're going to do it. Uh, we have the, what are the forces we have? We have the, the applied force, which is at uh, 15 Newton. Then we have the frictional force, which is at negative 5 Newton. Then we have the force of gravity, which is again a negative 20 Newton. Then we have the force, the normal force. So I'll just put an N over here. That would be at 20 Newton. Now, the combination of all this, if you add up all this, you should get the net force. So the force, the net force is equal to all these forces, uh, you know, the, um, the combination of all these forces. So you have to add all of them. So this is the applied force. You have to add that with the frictional, frictional force, add that with the force of gravity, add that with the normal force. And let's just plug in the number. So here it is. The applied force is at 15. 
okay frictional is negative 5 negative and a positive gives you a negative so just put a negative 5 okay and um, yeah and then this one um, gravity my negative and a positive gives you a negative so you put that negative 20 and of course that's just positive and positive is just a positive and the normal force is at 20 all right so when you do the math you can just you can just see you can cancel few things you can cancel this one and this one and you're left with just this okay so this would give you 10 newton 10 newton that would be your net force so over here it's pretty simple just by looking at this picture this and this will cancel out if the value is similar if it's the same value and in this case we do have a same value which is 20 and 20 one is a negative one is a positive so you can just cancel that out what you're left is uh, the applied force which is just 15 and here you have a minus 5 frictional force and you can see that this is a bigger value right this is a bigger value so you are going to push uh, when you apply that uh, when you when you apply the force the, the book is going to slide, but then friction is going to stop it, right? Sooner or later, it's going to stop it. But the movement will be towards the right. So you can just say towards the right. That's the direction of the force. All right. Now, moving on to the, the last question. One car gets stuck on the road and six persons are pushing this car towards the right direction. All six persons are pushing the car with the following forces. So we have one, we have two and three, uh, four, five, and six people. Forget about those other people. They're just extras. So uh, these are the, the six guys over here. They're trying to push the car. And each one will uh, exert a force. So one will exert uh, three newton, four newton, the other one, the third one, uh, five newton, three, and so on. All right. Now we have to just calculate the net force. You can see that there, there's nothing acting from the opposite direction. So there won't be any negative uh, value. Everybody's just going towards one direction, which is the right direction. It's written here. Okay. Everybody's just doing, everybody's putting that force towards the same direction. Nobody's standing on the other side and uh, exerting a force. Uh, which would be opposite, uh, in opposite direction. You don't have anybody like that. So this is, the, the math will be very simple for this one. So it's going to be a little bigger one though. So here we have force number, force number one, uh, force number one, which is at uh, three Newton. Then force number two is four Newton. Then Force number three, you have five Newton. Force number four, you have at three Newton. Force five, uh, you have, I think, seven Newton. And uh, force six, it's at two Newtons. So uh, all this will give you the net force. So force, and you can put a net like that, and then you just say the combination of all these forces. So force one plus force two plus force three plus force four plus force five and six. Okay, so uh, when you write that down, just plug in the value. So that's three plus four plus five plus three again plus. 7 plus 2. Okay, so if you want, you can do this. Uh, whatever answer you get, that would be uh, the net force. So in this case, what, what is it? What is the net force? So that's about 24 Newton. Okay. And this is all going towards the right. It says so. It has a direction. Look, look over here. Towards the right direction. Towards the right. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I hope you understood these problems. If you have any questions, 
please share uh, your questions in the comment section below and uh, also like and subscribe my channel so that you won't miss any of my videos on physics thank you